moving away. Clutch down, select first gear, handbrake off, set the gas until the engine speed is somewhere between 1 and 2000 RPM. Make sure it's safe to move away, including your blind spot, and lift the clutch up to the buy point. When you're at the buy point, hold it steady and the car will move away. Easy. If only it was that easy, but driving a car is a skill, and to develop a skill, you need practice. Here are my tips to help you develop your skill. I'm going to start with the gas. The gas is very sensitive. By sensitive, I mean pressing it two centimeters and the engine will sound like you're at a race circuit. The pedal is located on the right and you use your right foot. You need the engine running with the car in neutral to practice the gas. Try to learn how far you need to press the pedal to keep the engine speed between one and 2000 RPM on the tachometer, also known as the rev counter. What is the tachometer? And just in case I don't mince my words, I'm gonna call the tachometer TAC. It's a lot easier, or a lot of people call it the rev counter. TAC or rev counter, doesn't matter. I prefer TAC because it's one syllable. The TAC is the dial on the left. This represents your engine speed, measured in revolutions per minute. As you can see, it has 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. on the dial. If you can see around about here, it says times 100. So that basically means, this means 1000, 2000, 3000. And RPM means revolutions per minute. That's how fast the engine is spinning. When I start the engine, the engine will spin at around about 750 RPM or revolutions per minute. When you're practicing the gas, this is what you're trying to keep between 1000 and 2000 RPM, somewhere around here. As you can see, I'll try now. Anywhere around here is absolutely fine to try and move the car. The vast majority of cars have a tachometer. There are a few on the market that don't. If you have a car that doesn't have one, you need to listen to the engine until it gives you a gentle hum. If it starts to sound too harshly, you're pressing the gas too hard. Personally, I prefer a car with a tack. That way, I can change gear as efficiently as possible, and when I need to accelerate very quickly, it comes in handy then too. A good tip is to press the pedal about the thickness of a pound coin. About that. Like so, and watch the engine revs rise. If you want to increase the engine speed more, press the pedal a couple of millimeters more and wait. It's important to wait because there is a delay. If I don't wait and I press the pedal harder, the engine will probably over rev. Take as long as you like practicing this. It is a very sensitive pedal and will take time. But the more time you spend when the car's not moving practicing the gas, the easier it will be to use the gas when you do start moving. Now I'm going to move on to the clutch. To use the clutch, you need to find the clutch bite point. The clutch bite point is what makes the car move. When you're practicing this, you need to go somewhere very quiet and very flat. I mean flat, no heels at all. If you have heels, that will only confuse you and won't help you learn what the clutch actually does. When you're practicing, you don't want the hassle of having to look in your mirrors for other road users when you really want to focus on your clutch pedal. So getting someone else to look out for road users for you will help you put your full concentration into practicing the clutch. Wait one moment, we have a bicycle. Okay, coast is clear. First of all, start by pressing the clutch pedal, the left pedal, fully down to the floor. Then select first gear by pushing it fully left and forward and take the handbrake off. Important to remember that one. Now use the gas pedal to set the engine speed to between one and 2000 RPM. Try to keep the gas pedal steady. If you were to increase the speed to above 2000 RPM, you are likely to damage the clutch. If the engine speed is below 1000 RPM, the car may stall. Now you want to lift the clutch very slowly until you feel the car start to move. When the car starts to move, Eureka, you have found the clutch bite point. When you're at the bite point, it's important to keep the clutch still without lifting it any higher. If you lift it higher, the car may stall or kangaroo. A good sign you're near the bite point is the engine will go down in pitch slightly. A bit like this. When you have moved a couple of meters, press the clutch down and use the brake to stop the car. 
Once you've stopped, repeat the process. Set the gas to around about 1 to 2,000 RPM. Lift the clutch up to around about halfway until you hear the engine tone get deeper and the car starts to move and hold it until the car starts moving again. And then clutch down and brake gently to stop the car. Keep repeating this process as many times as it takes until you get used to where that clutch bite point is and you feel confident with the gas and the clutch. When you're comfortable with the gas and clutch, it's time to move a little bit further instead of moving only a meter and stopping. To do this, simply find the gas and the clutch bite point like you have been, but this time, instead of pushing the clutch back down and using the brake, hold the clutch steady. Normally this takes around about three or four seconds, but the engine tone will start to increase in pitch. Kind of like this sound. When that sound happens, you can come fully off the clutch and then the gas pedal is used to control the speed. Please remember, when you are practicing this, you need to be with a driving instructor or the relevant supervisor. Practicing on your own in the UK with only a provisional license is illegal. Also, it's a very good idea to get the supervisor to be looking out for other road users so you can put your full concentration onto learning your pedals. So, as simple as it may or may not be, to move away, clutch down, select first gear, take the handbrake off, use the gas to increase the engine speed to between one and 2,000 RPM, use your mirrors to make sure it's safe to go, including your blind spot, and then lift the clutch to the bite point. When you're at the bite point, the car starts to move. So I'm not lifting the clutch any higher once I'm at the bite point until the engine pitch goes up, in which time I can come off the clutch fully, and I'm moving. So there you go. You now know how to move a car. I'm planning to make a full repertoire of videos for learning to drive in the UK and passing your driving test. My next video will be all about observations and signaling before you move away. Please subscribe to get new videos as I upload them.